Turning 45 is a remarkable endeavor. It's remarkable for any organization, whatever kind of organization you are, right? Yeah, I mean, 45, that's a big deal. And this is all your birthday, so we're all turning 45. But it's truly something special when an organization like City Life turns 45. So City Life, as, as most of us know now because of the wonderful history that's listed on the pods, City Life started as a radical, feminist, socialist collective. City Life was founded by some disciplined people who sacrificed their, their time and their weekends and their weekdays. They, they made an intentional decision to move to the same community together, to study together, to, to work shoulder, so, shoulder by shoulder with other working class people in working class communities of color to build the, the power of working class people um, so that we can change society. So for an organization like that, with roots like that, to weather the 70s and the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s, think back on what was happening, po what was happening politically in all of those, in each of those decades. And so for a radical organization to not only exist, but to be thriving like this is a miracle. That's a miracle. But what you, are, what you see behind me are images of three major campaigns, uh, three major uh, areas of the city. So East Boston, um, Jamaica Plain Roxbury, and the Fairmount Corridor, so Hyde Park, Mattapan. So we have been, um, over the past year, really intensifying our organizing because one, there are fierce fighters in these neighborhoods, and two, corporations have been targeting these particular neighborhoods because of the city's development plans. And so in the room, there are, there are amazingly brilliant and talented young people who fought in, in the Jamaica Plain Roxbury struggle, fought to make sure that there, were, there was a decent level of affordability, and, and these folks are still fighting to, make, to hold the city accountable to the concessions that they were forced to make. So City Life is very proud. Yeah, you can, you can clap, Malcolm, that was great. Life is proud to stand with residents who who say, you know what, we actually we actually know what it takes to, to have stable communities. And one thing it doesn't take is unchecked development with no rules or regulations at all. We know that, that is not what is that's not going to stabilize our neighborhoods. In fact, what that creates is displacement. So we've been working um, with over 700 households in the past year fighting to stay in their homes. And these are people who are fighting development. These are people who are fighting major rent in rental increases. These are people who are receiving building-wide clearouts, And they come to City Life and they learn how to fight. So I want, to, I want you to give a big round of applause for the 700 families across the city of Atlanta. Every other week, we knock on doors, we let people know that we're here, we ask if you're, if you're right now in danger of losing your homes, and these volunteer tenant organizers, they invite people to come to City Life. Because of their hard work and the, and, and the courage of the tenants themselves, we actually are maintaining 24 tenant associations across the neighborhoods. Because of the strength and the power of this movement, over 90% of the people who come to City Life stay in their homes. It is not services that keeps people in their homes. It is fighting and it is organizing. And so I think the 
last thing that I want to say, there are so many things to say about 2017, but the last thing that I want to say is that we are really proud to both be fighting uh, immediately in the in the short term to make sure that everybody that walks through the doors has a shot at staying in their homes but we also are building for the new so we're building we're we're building a movement together with all of our allies across the city and across the country to fight for things like community land trusts things that that provide permanent long-term um, permanent affordability and the highest level of community control and because of all of you were able to scale up we're able to double and triple our tenant or our tenant association organizing and we're also able to to create new fellows so that so that more and more of our movement knows how to govern when we actually do win the buildings and we do place them on the land trust so I just want to thank you all so much for being here, for being part of the struggle, for not giving up, even when it's hard. And it gets hard sometimes. But this is the, the, the love and the kind of the camaraderie that you feel right here, right now. This is what, what, it's, what it's gonna take to get us to 45 more years. So again, give yourselves one more round of applause. Thank you.